thought I'd give you the final result of my work on the front end here of changing the the front facade, the front grill, upper grill to the stock looking with the red smile badgeless grill from ECS tuning and then what you're left with is a notch which you can leave the notch or you can fill the notch and then you're left with no badge and as you can see I have replaced the GTI badge so it still proudly displays GTI and then when I put it in I painted it by hand and it looked like a one arm paper hanger did it so I, I taped it all around taped, you know, the blue painter's tape. I taped it everywhere. And I smoothed it out with the professional um, official detailing sanding. I think it was a thousand grit. I took a thousand grit with my fingernail. Or not my fingernail, but you know, I put, I wrapped it around it and just kind of Well, you get the idea. And then what happened was it smoothed it out. Then I bought the same paint, candy white, with a spray can. And I went. That was it. Let it rest 10 minutes. And I went. Let it rest maybe 10 minutes. Actually, I got a little antsy. I think I might let it rest 7 minutes. And I went. And I said, is that enough? What am I going to do? Am I going to overdo it? Is it going to drip? Am I going to mess up again? And I said, now do it again. And that's the final result. It is the El Nacho filled. It's not focusing. There it is. So it looks very smooth now instead of being, if I get it on the light, the right angle. See how it's nice and flat and smooth? Doesn't have all those paint strokes on it. As you back up, you get the full effect because most people will be from this view here. And really, that's the way I'm going to keep it. I'm happy with it. Um, the only way, way I'd be happier is if I got a hood extender, but I don't know if they would look good. I think I'll probably just save money, and I'm going to get a carbon fiber hood with no notch. So I'm doing some research on that now. There's one called OSIR, or O-S-I-R, makes one. There's one that's red and black carbon fiber. It looks pretty awesome. It's about $800 on sale. So... But then I found out if you get that hood, it's carbon fiber, you can't use your gas shock, you know, that holds up your hood, because it'll make it buckle. The guy, the guy was up front with me, so you can't use that. So you got to find some other way of holding your hood up, or just don't hold it up at all. You have to have like a friend hold up your hood <laughs> why, why, while you work on your car or do something underneath. So I have to do a little more research before I do something. But as of right now, that's the way it is. And I tell you, it's already dirty, and I just washed it like yesterday. Man, that's what's tough about having a white car. There's my APR badge updated with the new look. It says, actually, you look close, it says stage with the red exclamation point, and then there's two little notches, or really into saying notch today, two little slashes, which means HPR, APR. Stage a two. All right. It would help if I actually use the key. There we go. By the way, do you guys lock your steering wheel when you park it? You know that it's impervious to theft or makes it that much harder. So you always just give a little pull on your steering wheel for Volkswagen and probably other cars too. But Volkswagen also recommends that, that you lock your steering wheel every time you park it. And if someone tried to get in here, they couldn't even steer the wheel. It would be locked permanently. And I also have software that is anti-theft, so which is pretty cool. You could even hotwire it. You might be able to start the engine, but the accelerator doesn't work. Okay, you gotta also pull on it a little to get it on there.
get my seatbelt on. This down. A man on a bike. Don't want to run him over. I pulled tight in there so nobody would get close to me. I was like right by the sign. A Land Rover. That hole on the Land Rover on the side actually is for water, I think. If it goes underwater, then it can go down. Oh, that's the Range Rover. That looks small for a Range Rover. There's a supercharged. I've noticed when I'm badgeless now, though, people that don't know look at my car differently. They look, and they look at it, and then they watch you as you go by. That's the telltale sign they want to know what car it is. And that's a good feeling, because that means they like it or they want to, they're interested. So you're actually piquing people's interest, you know, to know what your car is. This is just like a residential area. You can only go 30. I gotta eventually get over in the right lane though. I like that feeling when I let my foot off the gas, it makes that little thundering noise. Watch, I'll show you. Just give it a little bit of gas. You let it off, let your foot off the gas, listen. <laughs> Fine. I always use my signal when I change lanes. And what's nice about the GTI is you don't have to hold your finger on the, the little uh, controller or the stock. You just touch it once, you lift it up or it'll push it down, up for right, down for left, and uh, it'll blink three times. So that uh, leaves more time for steering, maneuvering, and concentrating on driving instead of holding a, a thing in your hand. We've got some wimpy roads in this part of town. It's just like these are like 40 now. Looks like it's going to remain a cloudy day, but the weather is good. It's uh, the temperature, I should say, is 74 degrees. Oh, we got red brake lights. Brake lights, brake lights, brake lights. I've been running a police escort for like a week, so I'm used to like falling close to people now. <laughs> Try not to do that in my car. But... I think.
think it's going to be a great year. It's a new year. You really don't need a resolution. That's really what a resolution is. It's a resolution. You should say Jesus is the solution, right? If Jesus is the solution, solution, you don't need a resolution. Aha! Something to ponder. We're back to the God-forsaken bridge to nowhere, which I still don't know where it's going. Been working on it for months. One day they may actually finish it. For the next millennium. By the way, has anyone seen the movie Prometheus? It's awesome. Don't let anybody tell you it's different. Prometheus is one of these movies that you'll watch it. You'll want to watch it again. You'll watch it again and you'll think differently about certain things and you'll notice things you miss and you go, I gotta watch it a third time. Then you wanna do research online, like I did. So, uh, it's a great movie. It kinda tries to answer, or really it doesn't answer, but that's really what life's like. I'm gonna roll up my window, it's too noisy. I'm going to uh, just finish on that. Is that if you wanna see a really cool movie that makes you think about life, the origin of life, who made us, where do we come from? Where do we go when we die? That's basically Ridley Scott's answer is Prometheus. He kind of gives you some different things to think about. And in a way, it never answers any of the questions, but that's what life is. So it's just like real life. You're left thinking on your own to figure out things. But it's really good. Um, it talks about the engineers. And I think that first scene at the beginning, if you watch Prometheus, is the man that's bald real goofy looking guy. He looks kind of like us, but a little weirder looking. We actually come from them. They're the origin of us. So that guy at the beginning, he's dropped off by his alien people, the other engineers, to terraform the planet. So terraforming the planet would be making it suitable for life. So if you look, it looks real barren and waste, except there's beautiful waterfalls and things. They came here, dropped him off, so that he would terraform the planet and make it suitable for us to be engineered. And it, all life starts from a single cell organism, right? So that's what they show. It goes through him. It breaks him down. It attaches to his DNA. It breaks down his DNA. It binds it to a new DNA. And it just gets dispersed into our atmosphere. So it's really a cool movie. So, Anyways, have a great day. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my videos, please subscribe. I'm going to be working on new ones. There's always something new to do to my GTI. I can always find out new things to do, and I'm going to promise to do uh, more uh, fun ones as well. So have a great day. Have a happy new year.